Marking its 10th year of running, the 2014 Porsche Cars Australia Carrera Cup arrived for its opening round on the streets of Adelaide. Armed with a new generation Type 991 GT3 911, all crews took the opportunity to mark the beginning of the new era with a range of new colours and sponsors. After two sessions of practice where Warren Luff in the no second chance Phase 8 Porsche was fastest, it was Davbridge Construction's 911 of Shea Davies that took pole, his first in the series. Yeah, I was managed to get the upper hand early and then, he, and then he pipped me and managed to pull one out of the bag at the end. Very tight though, so it'll be great racing. The opening 15 lap encounter was a twilight affair. Shea Davies led through the first half of the race before it was turned on its head when the leaders came to lap Dean Kutsamidis in the Equity One Porsche at the Senna Chicane. Davies was badly balked and Steve Richards in the Laser Electrical 911 and Luff swept into the lead. Richards then spun before a recovering Davies found the fence while pressuring Luff. Luff was then untroubled through to the finish to take the win. Yeah, look, it's a fantastic result for everyone at McElroy Racing. It was a, a pretty crazy race out there, some lap traffic, and obviously Richo had a bit of a spin, but for, for all our partners, no second chance, Phase 8, Porsche Centre Gold Coast, we're very happy. The Sonic Motorsports duo of Nick Foster and Nick McBride came through to collect the minor placings. Tony Bates in the Alternative Freight Services Porsche 1 Elite, from Shane Smolin in the McGrath Estate Agents 911, and Roger Largo in the JBS Swift GT3 in third. Great way to start the season, new team, new car. Um, yeah, I'm stoked. Uh, Smolin was putting a bit of pressure on me there towards the end. He had greens on, I went out on a qualified set of tyres, so I knew he'd be coming on strong towards the end, and uh, I was pretty confident I'd hold him out the last two laps, but he took a massive dive in the nine, and uh, I could see him sailing right by and uh, switch back and, and on we went. So that's uh, fantastic, I'm absolutely stoked. In the second race of the weekend, Warren Luff won the start from Nick Foster, while Stephen Richards got into third ahead of Nick McBride. The race soon settled into a steady rhythm over the opening 12 of 15 laps. Richards then got by Foster just three laps from the finish and set off after Luff. Luff drove without mistake over the final two laps despite all the pressure from Richards. Yeah. Oh, Richards will give it a go, but Luff will be home two in a row. For Warren Luff and McElroy Racing. Yeah, look, Richard had some great pace there at the end of the race. And uh, again, I thought lap traffic was going to play its hand in the outcome of the race. Thankfully not. Um, but yeah, obviously we've got a little bit of work to do ahead of race three. After having issues in the opening race, Shay Davies drove through to fifth, just ahead of Sam Power in the AVCS Porsche and Michael Patrici in the on-site racing 911. Multiple champion Craig Baird in the Bonaire Wilson Security GT3 struggled while he was getting used to his new ride to finish ninth. Tony Bates again won Elite from Shane Smolin and Roger Largo. Yeah, it was uh, pretty hot. Uh, yeah, the track wasn't uh, fantastic to drive on, which all drivers would have had the same experience, but I had a few turning issues, but you know, it's brought it home. There's no scratch on the car. Car's good for tomorrow. Just the one incident in the race, with Ash Samadi in the Royal Purple Oil Garth Walden 911, failing to finish after spinning and tagging the wall at turn six. The final race of the weekend was a scheduled 10 lap journey, but it was reduced by two laps after Roger Largo had technical issues and then officials stranded his car across the pit exit curbing. Warren Luff got a good clean start from Stephen Richards and Nick Foster. Back in the pack, Shea Davies attacked and climbed to as high as fourth, passing Nick McBride. And look at Shea Davies lunging, going for fourth spot on Nick McBride, gets it done. McBride then returned serve after Davies suffered steering damage after banging wheels with Nick Foster. He fell back to ninth at the finish, one place behind Craig Baird. One driver lucky to get through a wild race was Maury Pickering in the Finance Easy 911, brushing the wall at the ultra-fast Turn 8. He then clipped another wall and destroyed a TV camera in the process. Luff's perfect weekend was complete as he won from Richards and Foster and in the process opened a handy points lead. Three times 60 equals 180 points for Warren Luff. He takes race three. To think we could have come here and uh, had three race wins would have really been a bit of a dream, but to, to now I've obviously done it. Uh, it's fantastic. Likewise, Tony Bates was three from three in the elite division, winning the final race from James Bergmuller in the GT3 from Porsche Brighton and Shane Smolin. Look, last year I had a disastrous round here. Uh, you know, I got put in the fence and uh, had two DNFs, so to get away with uh, three good race wins, uh, couldn't have asked for anything better.
Carrera Cup will be back on track at the Australian Grand Prix meeting for three championship races in the middle of March. <laughs>